I've just finished the seventh round, which is the final round, final raising round, and as you can see, it is now slightly smaller than the the model cup, you know, in diameter, and it's just about as high. I'm going to have to. What I would like to do at this point, even though the metal has been raised, it's still uh, a little bit soft in here. I'm going to give it a, a preliminary planishing to get rid of the rest of these hammer marks. Before I started this seventh round, I set the base again to sharpen it up, and then I planished it just past the halfway mark with the uh, on the on my pipe, and then I switched to this stake to do the rest of the raising. So I'm going to still use this stake and I'm going to use the planishing hammer again with the uh, convex side of the hammer and just lightly tap to remove or at least diminish some of these uh, deeper hammer marks that you can see here on the reflections. I'm reaching the outside. I'm reaching the outside edge now, and I've been told that I can do this because this is copper and it's a pure metal. We wouldn't want to do this if this were sterling or brass or or some sort of alloy, because it could, you know, make the brittle, uh, make the metal brittle, and could possibly crack. But being a, a pure metal, copper, you know, will take you know this kind of extra beating. So the next step is to anneal this. Then I'll trim the edge to make it even, file it, and give it a little bit more of a planishing before it's, it's ready to have the, uh, the chasing designs applied to it. Now we're ready to trim the rough edge off of the, the beaker that we've been raising. Uh, this is a surface gauge and it is uh, a tool that's been in use for a long time. Uh, it has a very heavy base and then there's a scribe that's adjustable here as well as this being adjustable and there's fine adjustments you know down here. This will lock the, the uh, scribe in place. What I'm going to do is try to find the lowest point on the surface of my cup here on the edge and then I'll test and see if there's anything that's lower than that. And that seems to be the lowest point right there. So I'm going to lower this just a hair more. Or I could actually set it to the height of a finished gauge if I wanted, of a finished cup, if I wanted to do that. But right now I'm going to trim this down to the lowest point on this cup here. So I'll set the gauge, tighten it, and then with the cup on the flat surface here, I'm going to score a line by pushing the cup around and making a bright line. And this gives me a guide to cut to cut the excess off. Now to cut these, I'm going to start at the low point and I'm using these uh, sheet metal cutters that you can get in, in most hardware stores. So I'll start at the lowest point and start to cut. You see I'm holding the cup like this because this is a right-handed uh, right cutter. And then I will carefully cut along that line that I have just scratched. Checking here in the reflections. 
to cut right along that line. And you have to be careful because there are sharp edges on here now where you're cutting. So hold it carefully and cut slowly. We're still going to file the edge off a little bit and you know smooth it as we come through. And I'm coming right in here to the low point now. There. And there's the cup. So now all I have to do is file the edges flat and this is ready to have some decorative work being done on it. But what I'll probably do is also planish these extra uh, hammer marks out and that'll you know finalize the shape making this more of a regular line like this one has. The edge has just been cut and now off of this cup and I'm going to give it just a simple filing to get rid of the uh, very sharp edges that I have on it. So I'm taking a flat file, just an ordinary uh, flat file here and rubbing it so that it, it goes around the edge like this. And then I'm going to take the uh, the cut edge because this is where it's really sharp right here from from the uh, from the shears, and I'll just roll this lightly like this to lightly round. It's not even really rounding; it's just taking that corner off. This way, it'll be safe to handle when I start to do the planishing. I'm also going to take a, a number two file. There, I think I've gotten all the way around now. Okay, and do the inside edge like this. This is by no means a final filing because when I get when I do the planishing it may start to get just a little bit out of alignment in the plane again. And I'll set I'll set that up again with a flat file like this off the edge, always going on two edges and pushing the file against the edge like this to even up the surface. 